Money. Uh -huh. well, I was going to ramble, but uh, money in abundance. So there's nothing wrong. I mean, money. There's nothing wrong with money in abundance, and there's nothing wrong with a spiritual seeker wanting money in abundance. I mean, every every spiritual seeker will have an intention as to where what what their intention in life is. You know. Um, so let's say you you want to have lots of money and lots of abundance and help lots of people. But you also, from an ego level, want to enjoy your life as well. That's that's very integrous, and that's you know you want to you want to you want to enjoy your life to, uh, and be good. That will have a level of consciousness. But you know, the aspect of this the limited self that wants abundance will tie you to a level of consciousness. Okay. <laughs> So when you get to, so like, say you want to be generally loving and good to everybody and you want to be flamboyant and rich and have a Ferrari and a mansion and help the poor. That's a lovely thing, you know, and do lots of good, good works as well. So I'd say that's a positive intention, doing lots and lots of good. But if there's something there that wants to, that is seeking the money and the enjoyment for a personal gain... Uh, so that there's a personal, individual self that wants to enjoy that stuff, and that will limit you to a level of consciousness, which can be very, which can be quite a, quite a, which can be a good level of consciousness. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. So you're enjoying your life and being a good citizen. But if there's any any aspect of self that wants something for itself, it's going to tie you to a level of consciousness, which can be an integrity, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to be like a pure channel, totally empty and serve grace, then you're releasing everything, you see. So there's different levels of consciousness. So you can be like a good person, or you can commit to unconditional love. And a person at unconditional love can also be very rich and have a nice house and do an integrous job and, give and, and do a lot of good. But that, say, would be at a level of, of goodness. You know, but like a saint is going to be is going to even go to another level of selflessness. So they don't even want to have an individual self that's enjoying their life, for example. So it's like they're just going to be any sense of an individual self enjoying life is like released to the service of yeah. of divinity. Yeah. So they want to be even empty to a higher level of a self, and there's nothing wrong with the self that wants to help to be rich and to have luxury and to enjoy its life and, and to do all these things, but it's a, more, it's a more advanced removal of any aspect, and those selves that want to enjoy life and be prosperous, and but there's, that's actually good, and divinity has no problem with that, and, and that's lovely things. But if you want to go to the next level, like if you want to get to sainthood, you're even letting go of that stuff. And if you want to be like an enlightened teacher, then any sense of self uh, is removed. Or, uh, so they're just little different levels of consciousness. So absolutely, if any spiritual seeker wants to be abundant, uh, then absolutely. You know, uh, when you start to do more advanced spiritual stuff, you'll just be asking, well, what aspect of myself wants to be abundant? You know. <clears throat> So if there is a sense of self that wants to be abundant or wants to go on holiday, then you have to inquire what is that aspect of self that wants to do that. And, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, saying, I'm not, not against that. You know, there's different levels. It's just like, uh, you know, um, once you realize there's different levels of spiritual advancement, ultimately... And, and all of them are good, and God loves every level. In fact, you'd say God loves also the, the levels which aren't in the spiritual, you know, which are mm -hmm. stealing donuts or robbing banks. God still loves those as well. But even the spiritual ones, you know, you've got people in integrity that are rich and that are doing good, and God loves those people. And then God loves those who want to be unconditionally loving, and God loves the saints, and then God loves the enlightened teachers, and God loves them all. But, you know, if you're growing spiritually, you'll, uh, if you are seeking spiritual growth, um, then you'll always be questioning 
uh, what, is there an aspect of a limited self? Is there an aspect of a limited self giving instructions to God? Mm. And if there is that aspect of a limited self giving instructions to God, there's nothing wrong with that. And I think you can get that as well. Or you can have the choice of letting that go for spiritual advancement. You know, so you're letting go. But um, it's not like um, I don't. I don't think anything is wrong. I think absolutely it's all good. I mean, for myself, it's like with the for each individual, they're sort of choosing, aren't, aren't they? They're choosing what they want for this lifetime, which is oh. fine. You know. Um, <coughs> and.